And actually, I want to say that uh, beauty doesn't come from expensive materials or, or from uh, creative shapes. Beauty can come from something that costs nothing, is proportion. Just ask yourself, what's the difference between Miss Universe and the rest of the women? <laughs> they have two eyes, two ears, one nose, one mouth. What's the difference? Proportion. <laughs> so if you handle the proportion nicely, you get every block of HEP flats in Miss Universe. So, so, the fact that, so the fact that high density cannot be create good environment, that's a false assumption. The fact that low cost cannot create beauty is a false assumption. We just have to use our cunning to find out what's the best design. Okay. And we must design our building intelligently based on scientific facts. So a building can be handsome even at a low cost. Now, just to give you impression of the progression, okay, in the 50s, 1.3 million people live here. Okay, these are, they didn't solve the housing problem, but I think the designs are rather nice, but not tropicalized. And then Queenstown, Topayo, Amokyo. You can see that there's a greater sense of order, greater sense of just position of green and, uh, and the buildings. So you can feel that the gardens are nearer you. And of course, uh, with the uh, so-called the regional park in Pisan, 